everybody. And welcome to this week's edition of MTV Weekly. It is May 9th. And as you can see, we have our youngest reporter that we've ever had here playing the yo-yo. What's your name? Maverick. And I'm Nolan Weiss. And I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. And welcome to this week's edition. It is jam-packed with some awesome news and one of the greatest things that have happened in a long time on the track and field. And that's not Jeff breaking the record for pole vault. This is bigger than that. It's way bigger. Yeah. But first... Maverick, you're gonna have to stop doing that. I'm not your dad. I can't your tell yo you what to do. But the yo-yoing is distracting. He, he now he yo-yos. We were yeah. trying to get him to yo-yo before, and now he just yo-yos. What what have you been doing lately? This spring and this beautiful weather. Getting a new toy in army. What? Getting what? A toy in army. Oh, an army. I got army toys. What about what have you been doing out on the fields? Uh, running a base with. Which is. T-ball. T-ball. T-ball has started. Yeah. Do you we... like it? Is it fun? Uh, uh, uh. Uh -huh. Why isn't it fun? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, it's not fun. Why wouldn't it be fun? Because it's too like we always wear these dang it shirts over us, and it says, "I and I can't even read it," and it's doing nothing. <laughs> okay. So that's so the reason you don't like baseball is because the shirts you have to wear and you can't read them. Why can't you read them? What do they say? They say We're sponsored by Ruby scrapbooking and things. No, actually, sorry, we just played Rubies. Oh, wow. We're Jeb, yeah, I know, no. wow, and I'm the coach. We're Jeb's pet squad. I just said Rubies. What's, uh, what's, Jeb's, uh, what's our bat, what's our team name, though? Uh, Battlehelion Cats. <laughs> no, what's our, what's our name? Uh. You said it, come on, what's our name? Without the email. Battle Cats. There it is. Battle, battle cats. cats. And we have been battling. We had a good game this last week. Boys and girls in T-Ball have just been doing awesome. It's been fun to watch. That it has. Like, yeah, Jeff, have you watched any of those Most as games? fun as this yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. The old yo-yo episode. If you want to watch more of this excitement and relive having a four-year-old if you've already went through that experience or looking forward to maybe having a child in the future, there it is. <laughs> yeah. This is my biggest inspiration. Yeah, or watch more of these episodes at GetYourInTV.com. They are all there. GetYourInTV.com. Right now? I guess so. What's the first topic? So. What's the first topic? What are we talking about? What are we talking about today? Mm. Don't put that in your mouth. Uh, what now? A what? Aliens. What now? Aliens. 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 Talking about aliens. Cover your ears for this one, Mav. Yeah, you don't need to hear stop this. stop playing with the yo-yo. This probably isn't the best episode to have Maverick yo -yo. on here, but we're talking about ah. aliens who are interbreeding <laughs> with humans to be able to survive their planet and colonize back where they came from. That's right. We heard this report from an Oxford professor on the World Wide Web. And uh, that's pretty much all we have to say about this Sorry, this topic man. and this news story, I think. <laughs> Interbreeding with aliens to save the apocalypse right, from aliens. But they're, they're doing it because... Uh, We're not going to go to the park. Okay. We're not going to go to the park if you're going to act like that. Okay. okay. I'm going to act like this. Okay. I'm going to watch TV with you. That's TV. fine. <laughs> okay. I'm putting this away. And you don't even have a beard on this. And you look, you look totally weird on TV. Your beard is weird. <laughs> That's and then she yes, and You don't even have a beard. You actually do have a beard. Daddy, do have a beard. Wow, well, thanks. And you just don't even have a beard. He really Beards. knows how to cut deep into my soul. Oh, I know. These I'm four trying. year olds just give you the, the facts and the truth, and you don't know how to respond to it. No, you Tell don't. you what. They don't even know how to. Yeah. Yes, we are talking about aliens, and we're talking about aliens coming to Earth to mingle with humans so they can cause or start a new race to, to survive the apocalypse. <laughs> Pretty much. It is uh, that ridiculous of a story. And we're going to move right along to the UK. Where shrimps have been and, tested positive for oh, cocaine. Shrimp. You know what? Like, and forget about that story, because who wants to really hear about that? 
shrimp and uh, fresh water and drugs and, and stuff. I want to talk about actually some good news in uh, the other side of the world, in Britain itself. We have a new baby, Sussex, that was yes, born. We do. And so I'd rather talk about the uh, the, the royal, royal baby, the royal family. We can talk. We can move, move along. Move along. <laughs> Just something that's not on the script. Let's talk about that. Well, Mavericks here. Baby Sussex <laughs> yeah. that uh, joined the royal family. Congratulations, right there. Everybody saw it. It wasn't like the first born though. That it like it swept. The, it was the eighth. <laughs> well, this is the third now. Royal grandchild. It's of, the eighth. Well. Of Harry and William? No. Like between it, the two? I think between... This is the like, third. It's the Queen's eighth grandchild. Oh, all together? Mm. Oh, but they only report on Prince and Harry. Yep. So anyways, the Queen's eighth grandchild, I heard earlier today, I just happened to put on Good Morning America, and they were like, and the Queen is expected to see the baby. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah, and we saw the baby. We saw, yeah. <laughs> Busy tea schedule. I figure I'll go she see my eighth grandchild. <laughs> They're like, what an honor for the queen to grace your presence yeah. after you have had a baby. It's a beautiful thing. And we saw some pictures probably before the queen saw some. Oh, that's a weird life to live. <laughs> it would be a different one to live. Try to the, oh, put the guy in. Call my William people. and Harry, they like do. They're pretty cool. I called them Prince earlier, but William and Harry. They are. Uh, they seem like the pretty legit guys. They remind me of a band over there. Jonas Brothers. Uh, is that yeah? Aren't they William and Harry too? Jonas. No. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, they're Jonas and uh, yeah, something like that. Well, they're not Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> Jonas is our oh, last Oh yeah, that's our last name. <laughs> But congratulations to the royal baby. Yeah, congratulations. Moving right along, this story is pretty interesting. And true. Beluga whale from uh, Russia is supposedly spying on the coast of Norway. Mm -hmm. So they whale say, spies. Whale spies. They found a GoPro on a beluga whale, and they found equipment in there that had an English tag saying property or equipment of St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. It could be actually America. <laughs> Putting a little, uh, I don't know, fork in the road. Could be a marine biologist. It could be a lot of things. Could but be a beluga whale just with like accidentally swam into a GoPro. There's so much garbage in the water. Yeah, there is. There's a lot. Anything could be swam. But I think this one's recording, and it's hanging out on the coast of the Norway shore where they've been trying to get it off there, but it's been hanging out there. And in the 1960s, mm -hmm. Russians supposedly were having. One second, we have a, a break in the story. We have an intermission. Yes, Mav. What's up, bud? Ooh. You want to show off, the, oh, show off your picture? What is that? I know what that is. A snake. Oh, a snake. Look at that. A snake. <laughs> Look at Just make sure to zoom in on that snake. Put we that on a, the wall. We need to frame that one. Awesome mm -hmm. job. It looks like it ate something. Yep. Yeah. Maybe a mouse. Or well. <laughs> Anyways, in the Cold War, they supposedly were uh, reportedly trained beluga whales, dolphins, sea lions, and uh, fur seals see whale killed, to spy. Uh, what? Why are you call those things again? What? Beluga uh, whale? Mm. Orcas? Killer whales? Yeah, killer whales, and I can't remember. It's like this. A sea one. lion? Yeah, a sea lion. Thank you, Daddy. He ate a sea lion, the snake did? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> Mm. The imaginations <laughs> just run wild. They just go. They just go. I mean, a blue, a blue, a dead kill fish after you eat two lines. Sorry. That, that, like just, that just in. That, that's like better than watching TV or that's my thing I'm looking forward to most is the imagination. Oh, the imaginations run wild. We ninjas and Ninja Turtles and E-Man and Paw Patrol, all the above. Yeah. It's pretty... It's a fun, fun time. <laughs> yes, yeah, exhausting. Especially T-ball. They pull, they put it on the field. There's Are you ready to win? They're ready to play. Oh yeah. Yes, bud. Have you won? Not yet. Have you haven't won yet? Oh, uh, won a game. Yeah. Uh, we've got we got two official outs last game. Oh, that's cool. They don't keep score because everybody just runs the first mm -hmm. and everybody throws the first and that's it and then they throw home that's and then the last batter they all run around the ha the the bases yeah um, but like honestly there's no outs that's awesome there's no outs 
Not you just of. hit and then just like run around. And you just first. Yeah. Some kids run to second. You gotta get them back to first. That's and funny. Yeah, it's quite interesting. T ball. If you're if you get uh, any chance, make sure to get your kids into any kind of sports activities when they're young because just see if they like it. If they don't, of course, they'll, they'll let you know. If if they don't, then they might end up like Thor on the Avengers uh, End Games. Oh, Fat Thor? Yeah, I heard about it today. Oh, is that a spoiler alert? That, that is, and I heard people are upset about it too. Like the I haven't seen. It. I just heard about Fat Thor. I heard about it too. There's a Funko Pop coming out. I guess. <laughs> Moving right along, let's go on to local news where the mariachi band swept the streets on Cinco de Mayo. Actually, they stayed in the yard, and they didn't sweep anything, really. No, they were playing. They were playing, playing their hearts out. No. Other Wait, people were sweeping in the cemetery. Like? Yeah. Check it out. Awesome job to the Roslyn Yard for putting on the mariachi band for Cinco de Mayo. It was a lovely time that day, it looked like, on that video. Jeff and I were fortunately flying back from a business trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, people took the streets of the cemetery and swept them clean, as well as a lot of the outskirts area. And I'm, I personally have been walking through it lately to go down to a secret spot. And um, the can't share because it's secret. Yeah. But at something. the same time, the cemetery is looking fantastic. Just the cemetery oh, that committee. That big cleanup they just it's, did was it, it huge. Is, it is. And just the people coming out this last weekend. A ton of work was done. It sounded like it was a great time. And um, the, they still need more work to be done. I mean, yeah. that place will never end. They pulled out uh, bags and bags and bags of pine needles, filled up the back of dump trucks. It was impressive seeing all those volunteers helping out at the Raza Cemetery. Very cool event right there. Good job, Jen Brestichia, all of the volunteers that helped put that on. Great job, and cannot wait to see round two and be a part of round two. Yep. So there you have it. No, the uh, horse park. The warrior horse park. Remember the warrior horse park. Because like, if you do that, you're, you're digging into the table. You know, you got to do it lightly. Yeah, like that. And moving on to the warrior horse part. The warrior horse Why the part. the warrior horse part? <laughs> and moving on to the horse park. Ladies at the horse park got all together and they talked about some stuff. Yeah, this is awesome. Exciting news happening at the horse park. Yeah. Tell you I'll keep locking it back open. Nope, I think that's it. I think I'm good. Here it goes, Teddy. We event this 
group along here and I would say a lot of the people that have come um, if they aren't eventers they'd like to become eventers <laughs> and that's the three disciplines as I expect you know um, the if you event, you need a property that has a lot of space so that you can run the cross-country part of the competition over, well, at the very high levels, up to four miles. Here, of course, it's more like one to two miles because um, we're, we're doing lower level competition. But many of the places that hold the competitions are privately owned and then people change their minds, they get older, the properties get sold. And so having this horse park, it's here in perpetuity, we hope. But and it seems to be ever expanding. And it's, yeah. well, um, I think you'd have to talk to the director of the horse park <laughs> about that before I put my foot in it. But um, the other great thing is it's not just for eventers. You can be a Hi. How are you? You can be a western rider or you can come just trail ride and just spend the weekend. I mean, we came up the other weekend and we trail rode first and then we did some cross country schooling the next day. But it was just to enjoy the place and it's somewhere that we can come and the horses are safely um, housed. Really nice stalls, we've got water right here, we don't have to go lugging, lugging it from far away. It's just a very well run, beautiful facility, good space. You can see how easy it is for us to park our big rigs. And it's really well run. And it's easy to get to on I-90. Sunday night is less delightful going home, but it's we're very fortunate to have a place like this, I think. And, um, those of us that have been around a long time, have watched over time how things have changed and how many places we've lost and having this is just remarkable and we're about to make another huge step it's a huge step that i think will be a real game changer having a big covered arena here that will um, really allow the competition year to extend and it'll also attract um, we hope competitions that will bring in quite a bit of money for the horse park because that would be very nice to make sure that we have it on a really solid financial footing. The Washington State Horse Park is getting ready what for the doing? biggest covered arena to happen in the United States and bring in, in some... In the United States? That's what they're saying. I don't know about that. Outdoor. Outdoor covered arena. I don't know. I've seen some in Cleveland. Oh, okay. have you? Yeah, I guess. Cool. Okay, maybe on the, this, maybe Pacific Northwest. <laughs> no. But I heard the United States. But like, and I have said the same thing. I was like, come on, really? No, that's not true. Because remember, like that place that we went to, like for filming that one thing. Like, yeah, that yeah, was big. That was a covered arena. But this is going to be the biggest, bigger than that. Oh, it's the biggest. So we'll see. This is going to be huge. But this is awesome to see in our own backyard at Cleveland for the. Clayton Horse Park, Covered Arena. Make sure to go check out all the events that are happening this summer and help support. And you love the Washington State Horse Park, don't you? And superheroes. And I like superheroes. Well, remember last year, what did we go do at the Washington State Horse Park? Uh, we checked out the rodeo. Check out the rodeo. The rodeo, yeah. And that was, was it, how, what'd you think of the rodeo? Good. Yeah, we had a good time, didn't we? So this year, I recommend going to any of them, really. And if you have a son or a daughter, I recommend that you sign them up for mutton busting. Yeah, are you going to do mutton busting this year? Uh, Riding the sheep? Right away. Wrestling? All right, uh, I'm signing okay. you up. Probably won five. Probably, probably win. you're going to win five? Probably uh, win these five. Probably won actually oh, 100. Five. That's a little too old. That, no, that might not be. You don't wait that time. long. No, like with the... Um, Actual advances in modern science by the time he's like that age, it's very well could be possible that he could be wrestling out of hundred. Okay, years old. Gandalf. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with some great news that's coming up. When it comes to saving money, what? Don't act like a baby. Oh, it's like they're having their own little meeting. This is so humiliating. Be the boss. I'm the boss. What the mm. Power nap. You were saying. And make a budget. Let's get to work. Need a little help? Stacy, read back the notes. I can't read. 
What's it say? Create a personalized savings plan and get other tools and tips. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. At feedthepig.org. Mr. Big Shot, buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities. And this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. to make my breakfast. Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. Take the beautiful drive to the Last Resort restaurant and get away to the Alpine Lakes at Lake Cleallum. Here you will find a splendid place to dine with the best salad bar around and great homemade soup. Don't forget Don's special prime rib every Friday and Saturday. While you're here, come check out Motor Fist Snow Gear and Snowmobile Rentals. So take the short drive to the last resort and come share a home-cooked dinner with us. Welcome back. No, welcome back. Welcome back. To this week's edition of NTV. It's March 9th, 2019. I'm Nolan Weiss. I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. And this is Maverick Weiss. Nice Ooh, job. We're killing it. We're coming along, Wes. Yeah, Sarge Maverick is here helping me with my voice. We lost it on a business trip this last week. Yes, we did. Warrior Sports took place this last weekend where track and field hosted an event and broke records. Broke the record for the largest track and field meet ever. In Cleon Rosalind Warrior history. Like, this was the most in attendance, one of the biggest yeah, meets that they've Sorry. ever had in school history. I'm sad I missed that. Sorry, I didn't know that. They said it was huge. Yeah, but, but. Like, you, they don't know that. Like, the majority of the staff that's been there hasn't been there forever. I mean, let's be honest. But before, like, ever, before their time, though, they never had, like, huge meets like that. Invites? We've had invites. Well, no. We always had a, we always had a small track. We had districts, but not a lot of people made it to districts, so that, that cut, cuts it in half. But I'm this saying, is really cool know, how, to see. How, how should that data be? Jeff formed? loves to dis. Anything no. that could break any record close I, to pole vaulting back in 2004 or anything that could destroy Disney? his future. I want to bring it back. I want, I want it to be broken. Anyways, track and field Can took place and they were running, jumping, throwing, and having an awesome time at one of the, the largest track and field meet in Cleo Rose history.
Thank you to all the volunteers who came out to support the Cleo and Roslyn track team. A lot of volunteers are needed at track and field meets. And you see a lot of the people who have been there for a very long time because they enjoy the sport just as much as kids. And it is a great time. It's like track meets are probably the best sports thing that you could probably when go they're to. home. No, for just sure. all the time. Uh -huh. okay. The I mean, it gets pretty rowdy. I bet. It so does. if it's tennis matches, if you ask uh, me, Jeff, no. <laughs> I can save for my tennis matches or not. Save myself. That's what I used to do is play tennis. Anyways, we'll go right along to baseball. Baseball has been finishing up their season here. They played Zilla on the third of this month. Where unfortunately they lost 12 to two. Tough loss for the Warrior Boys baseball season here. And how girls do in softball, Joe? Girls in softball this last week on 5-2. They took on White Pass where they won 17-1, crushing them by 16 points. They took on Goldendale on the third where they won 11-1. And then they took on Kittitas Thorpe. 11 to 1 for the win on the seventh. Congratulations to the Warrior Girls, they're killing it. And like they're not even really like beating people, but they're beating them terribly. So best of luck to the girls. The next game will be May 11th at 11 a.m. at LaSalle. At LaSalle, it's gonna be a challenge right there. LaSalle has put up some good numbers versus our girls. I like how Kittitas and Thorpe formed together and then made one team. I think that's important. And they're talking about doing it to the middle school as well. Hmm. You think it's important? I do. I think that they can get a lot more. I could, yeah, or uh, competition, athletics out of it. Yeah, might as well. I like it. Upcoming events are coming up, and some cool things for the mushroom hunt. You should probably know about for the spring season mushroom hunting. So get those calendars out. Make sure you're ready because. You don't want to mess it out on any of these cool events. Nope, and you definitely want to be crowned the Mushroom King or Queen. Morel Mushrooms, they're, uh, they have harvesting permits for sale at the Forest Service, so make sure to get those if you are getting a lot of mushrooms. And that's five gallons of mushrooms per day. That's quite a bit of mushrooms. I didn't know you had to have a permit to take mushrooms. Only if you're reselling as well. So they're, as long as you are collecting them and you're keeping them for yourself, you don't have to get a permit. Okay, that makes sense. This is the first I've ever heard about a permit though. Yeah, so five gallons. So big deals right there. Um, permits were on sale as of May 6th. And uh, you know, there's still snow covering. I went to my mushroom spots and they were already Picked whole, big and dry. Yep. They were so we need some rain of any mushrooms. So I'm gonna go see some of the other spots. Probably after the news, Mav and I are gonna go check out some some secret spots. I was surprised about not to like change the subject, but how low the lake is still. Oh, it'll, but that's what I thought too. And I asked my dad, and he said it will be up where it's supposed to be by Memorial Day. But why are they keeping it so low? Uh. I don't know. Probably yeah, the work that they're doing. I don't know. I don't know. They're the fish dam. Seems like a lot of water is being wasted. We need to be storing that sucker. Oh no! Why? It's a drought season. Yeah. That's silly. Silly uh, talk. Yep, yep, for sure. They're gonna raise it though. We'll see. If that raises Somebody's three saying. feet. We're gonna pull out our uh, old. No, they're not gonna raise it this year. I don't think. Oh, it's not this year. I don't think so. They just keep saying it. Because a house has to get moved or demolished. Oh yeah, rebuilt. that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So they're gonna hold off. Moving right along, community dodgeball happens this Friday, May 10th, at the Cleo and Roslyn High School. We will be there. It's only $30 a person, or I mean for the team. And registration starts at 520, and game starts at 6 o'clock. So get your teams, get everybody ready. If you're the best dressed, you can win some uh, awesome prizes. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. It's going to hurt your forehead. You're going to leave a mark. You already left them. It's going to not Give feel you a good. Bump. You're going to look like a unicorn. Yeah, don't do that. Right. Prizes, for best dress, MVP, and for of course the Grand Champions. Have some fun time this Friday for dodgeball. And on May 10th as well, the 2020 Census is going to be happening. This is going to be taking place at the Roslyn Public Library. This is a job fair from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., open to everyone. A speaker will be coming to the Roslyn Library to present to the Upper Kittas County Census Job Information Act. Refreshments will be available. May 11th, the Bluegrass Concert, the Rusty Hinges, will be performing at the Swak Tanaway Grange. Saturday, May 11th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $12 for adults, 
Kids under 12 are free. They have finger desserts will be served at intermission. Go enjoy some bluegrass May 11th. The Cleveland City cleanup is going to be set for May 14th through the 18th. The city will provide the residents with vouchers good for a free trip to the transfer station on SR 903. You can get your voucher on May 13th. You can use it from the 14th through the 18th. This is a big deal and you want to get in early because the line is backed up all the way to Roslyn City entrance typically. On May 19th, Sunday, May 19th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Yakima River Canyon bike tour is going on. $50 a person, $85 per family, two adults plus two children under 18. Proceeds go to Yakima County Crime Stoppers. Event t-shirt available, concessions at staging area. They have bicycle maintenance available as well. It's a 35-mile round trip ride through the scenic Yakima River Canyon. The road follows the Yakima River up the gentle grade with few hill climbs. The highway will be closed to through traffic. This is a perfect ride for the whole family. On May 25th, Soaring Over Suncadia. This is going to be held at 10 a.m. going to 4 p.m. at the Nelson Dairy Farm in Suncadia. It's open to the public. Tons of events from creating kites, teddy bear drop, running with the bulls. I don't even know what that means. If that's a misprint. Running with the B-O-L-L-S. So I don't know what that is. The if, bulls, it's a kite race, I guess. Yeah, I've never even heard of that. The bulls, the balls. It's a kite the race, balls. but... And much more, so please come down and enjoy this. They're gonna have a kite performance by WKA. And they're gonna exciting. have spaceships of the sky kites ranging from 90 to 400 square feet in size. Wow. Art kites, which feature innovative kite designs and sort of kite performances. This will be fun for the whole family. May 25th, mark this one. Easton Memorial Day Parade is Saturday, May 25th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Parade starting at noon. Exit 71 off I-90 East in Washington. They'll have a kid zone, car show, motorcycle show, raffle prizes, parade, wall of heroes, fire department, pancake breakfast from 8 to 10, a big street fair, and if you want to be a vendor, it's only $20 for a 10 by 10 space. This is at the Easton Memorial Day celebration, or you can contact them at mail EMDC PO Box 698 at Easton Washington 98925. And then the Wanted Riders for the Rosin Polk Ride is happening Sunday, May 26th from 9 a.m. to noon. This is a first place cash prize of $500, followed by eight fifty awards plus additional prizes. Six hands of four for $20. Vitals catered by Cascade Mountain Grilling, located at the Rosen Riders Club on Grounds Highway 903. For more information, call 674-2404. Wanted Rosen Riders Poker Ride is happening Sunday, May 26th. All right, and that is everything that is happening in the weeks to come. So many things and more to come with June. That's beautiful weather that we're having. We're gonna have some crazy weekends ahead of us. So it's too hot. Oh, it's almost too hot. It is. Let me go play you like things. work inside all day and you just what like. What are you do, talking about? You just like do your thing, like you're like, okay, I'll work next to the AC unit today. That's why, yeah, I always try to find an AC unit yeah. to work in. We're going to finish that. Yeah. At this time, though, we're going to wish the people some happy, happy birthdays to wrap this news up. On May 8th, we have Emily Abramowski, happy birthday, Ian White, John Singer. Crystal Church, Derek O'Shaughness, and Michael Hamlin. If you got Derek O'Shaughness, you know you got Darren O'Shaughness. Yeah, but he's not on our list, so. And on May 9th, happy birthday, Ashley Evans, Donna Hawkins, and A.A. A. Ron Riggs. And happy birthday, Elena Clausen. On May 11th, happy birthday to William Cooey and Lyle Allen. On May 12th, happy birthday, Xander Uren, Corey Anderson, and happy birthday, you guys. On May 13th, happy birthday to Jeff Rabinald, Luann Stein, Chad Monroe, and Nav Ambrose. Birthday, Jeffrey and Chadley. I haven't talked to Chad and Luann. Happy birthday, I haven't talked to those two guys in quite a while. Yep, those are Chadley. And on May 14th, happy birthday, Sawyer Nelson. Happy birthday. And that wraps it up for all the birthdays. If you have a birthday you'd like to add to our calendar or business that you'd like to advertise with us today, give us a call at 649-3940. This has been a couple local boys. Come up here, big guy. Come up here. You can say bye. Bye, 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 b
<laughs> Little Mary Poppins. Shooting some local news, right, Jeff? I'm Jeffrey Darcy. Yeah, I'm Ray Weiss. And what's your name? Seriously? Maverick Umbrella. Mm -hmm. Maverick Umbrella. You guys have a great day, night, evening, and wherever you see us, come say hi. And if you have a story, make sure to give us a call. If you have a child, and you have bye, Maverick Umbrella. <laughs> Adios. Amigos. Bye. <laughs> My name is Mr. Darwin. I like to teach you red aliens. No, oh, we should use that in the alien story. Yeah. Mm -hmm.